from Mob TV. Baba Kiari and Jubril that they call Buhari, they are not in Abuja. If they are in Abuja, they should show us where they are. They can never show you. You have seen videos and clips of patients in Italy, in America, everywhere. The wife of the Canadian Prime Minister has coronavirus. I think the EU president, Jonka, I think he has coronavirus. They tell you. You can see them. But I am telling you right now that the zoo is non-functional. Nigeria is not functioning. It has no de facto president who is Abakiyari. There is nobody else in charge. A majority of them are contaminated. They, they have all infected themselves. Nigeria right now has no government. It has no Senate. In, in, in the U.S., you can see the Senate voting through a stimulus package for the economy. In Nigeria, that is known. Has uh, the uh, House of Reps all they have all run away? Senate the same thing they have all run away. There is nobody in charge. The only people in charge in the zoo is Buratai and this Janjaweed army. I will also come to that later. That is the mess that we are facing. That is why we must all take precaution of the very highest order in basically to ensure that we survive. That we get through this it will come to pass eventually but sadly people are going to die a lot will have to die unless i repeat unless we do something now and what is that thing we are going to do <laughs> we are going to make sure as ipob that one hospital is designated in to start with in every state capital of biafra land and we also need to include a do state as well in this because we have a lot of Edo people who are in IPOB all over the world and contributing very generously to what we are doing. We are going to have our Chike Dosiem will expand on this on on Sunday during our live broadcast. Hospitals in every state of Biafra land, specialists. Every state will nominate one hospital that IPOB is going to be in charge of, that IPOB will equip and make sure that they have everything necessary to take care of those who are ill. Every state will have to nominate one hospital. We know there is no social welfare, of course, that is none. So, I am directing IPOB, that is why we are everywhere, IPOB family units in every Hampstead, I did not say village, I said every Hampstead, every street in Biafra land, the IPOB there should prepare because we are going to open food, or should I say soup kitchens, for people. Because there are those that go out and sell their vegetables, they sell their onions, they sell their tomatoes, they come back home and you know that is how they make income for the day to survive if people are going to be confined at home then we must make sure that they don't die of starvation we are not very rich but we do have ways and ideas and the requisite intellect to be able to provide for our people we are going to do the best we can by the special grace of God in heaven. If we all cooperate and be, or should I say, remain as generous as we have always been. We always say, one the number, one this is not the time for theory, nor time for rhetoric. We need to translate all those things we say all the time about love thy neighbor. We must now prove it. We may even have to feed those who are not IPOB in the process. But this is something we are going to do. And efforts are on the way to make sure that this happens in Biafra land. Every civilized country in the world is feeding their people. Some of you may have heard about the stimulus package. They announced in the USA, in England, in the UK, sorry, everywhere right around the world. Even today, Japan also announced one. Now you can see the benefit of being 
an advanced country, an advanced economy, you can now see why we want Biafra. Because in Biafra, we would have had all these contingencies built in into the fabric of society itself. So we can always go back, go to the reserves. Get, they are begging for two, 22 billion. So where would they get money to feed the people? If people go to work, millions will die. You need to confront people at home. But how are you going to feed them? Anyway, as I said before, my concern is for Biafran people. And we are going to do the best that we can. As I said, Chike Doziem, our head of DOS, will outline the details on Saturday. We are still working on it. I am still working on it. It is very, very important that, as I said earlier, we maintain the very highest standards of hygiene that we don't travel. These are the key issues here. Don't travel. Self-quarantine. Remain at home. Even when there is no announcement from the government about a lockdown, please lock yourselves down. At least for four weeks. To allow this wave to pass. That is how plagues behave. This pestilence, it will come, it will pass. If we avoid it, we will all be alive to continue to agitate for Biafra to come. These are the things that we are going to do. Prayers alone cannot save us. Prayer and fasting cannot save us. I believe in, in miracle more than anybody else. I do. But our prayer, the prayer that I pray every day is for God to show us a way out of this. Not for God to kill Corona, because I'm, I'm not sure how that is going to work. It won't work. Corona is there already. What we are now going to do is to manage our way out of this very crisis. And together as one people, as one nation, we are going to do it. Mob TV.